Hi everybody, my name is Jeremy Cuman. I'm the general manager of NTech Americas, and we're here at LDI in booth 161 talking to stage directions about some of our new products. So right now, here underneath my hand, I've got a couple of examples of pixel tape that we're really proud to be announcing and showing off for the first time here at LDI. First one over here, this is a red, green, blue, and white pixel mappable tape product. We make it in 30 and 60, which this is, and 144 like this one, but this doesn't have the white pixels per meter. This is a good example also that shows you some of our older tape, the red, green, blue, we've been selling for a couple of years. This is the really high density, 144, but right next to it here, you can see 60 for comparison. And if we pull a little bit further out over here, you can see the 30. So I'm gonna just fold them up so you can see them all side by side. And that's a nice, nice demonstration of that. If that's not blowing out your camera for brightness, good. Okay, so the other new one, shown here again in 60 per meter, for example, is a pixel mappable warm white, cool white, and amber, or I call it a triple white. This is pixel mappable, so on a five meter reel, you'll have, uh, with this 60 per meter density, that will take you about 300 channels to control it. But using some of our hardware, you can also gang them together, and by grouping, you can save the channels if your lighting console doesn't have that much hard, uh, doesn't have that much real estate for channel usage. And at this end of the booth, we are showing off a new software application that we're especially proud of. It's debuting for the world here at LDI, and it's called the Entech LED Mapper, or ELM. What's unique about it is that it doesn't constrain you to working with a grid of fixed spacing for where you put LEDs. It lets you work organically the way that real objects on a real set probably want to be placed. You don't have to work along a rigid bar or vertical column. Because if you ever want to do a curve, those ways of doing it are really, really tedious. Watch how we'll do it over here. This is a map of our booth, and on it you can see a number of lines. These are straight lines, and inside of them, there's a number of different LEDs, sure. But if you want to work with a curve, here's an example of that. And once we've placed a curve on the set, we can change the shape of the curve just by dragging one of the control points. Or we can even work with circles, which are basically a curve that loops around and touches the front to the back again. So here you can see the beginning of the tape, and it goes around, and here's the end of the tape. And in the middle of that, you can see that we've created a 12-pixel arrangement. But if I decided I was going to buy some other kind of lens and make it denser to repatch, all I'd have to do is that. Now I'll zoom in real close so you can see what's really going on inside of this program at that level. Each one of these lines here you go, the blue dots, that's where all the LEDs will fall. So here's one of our Firo light bars, which has 30 LEDs in it, and you can see them represented here by the dots. But if I were to be working with some other arrangement, if it weren't 30, it'd be just this easy to change that number. Or repatch it. Also, I could type in some names and things to help filter out what this table over here is showing. That's all convenient stuff. And then you can add the media. This is basically a media player which works with these graphical elements. The elements that we're placing on there might be vector-based, but the media isn't. So here's the media. And I could add another file. It could be a video file or a still image. It could be capture devices like a webcam, a video card, streaming, etc. Once I place some media clips together, I can either mix them live with a left and a right panel, crossfade button, and RGB filtration is possible here as well as master intensity and speed. Also there's a scheduler so that if you want to do some kind of standalone operation or architectural project, you can simply add media in whatever order you want and say how long to play that for. 
timing it to architectural or uh, to astronomical plot or regular time. And uh, that's pretty much what the Antec LED Mapper is all about. We're really happy that uh, the developer has come on board working with us on this, and we hope that it's going to really change the way people work with LEDs. Thanks for coming in. So for more information on any of the things that I talked about in this quick review of our booth, go to www.entech.com. And uh, thanks for looking at Stage Direction's view of our booth.